What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. How y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Um, we went to Scylla, which is uh, one of the asteroids, which is uh, a destination. Wait, what the fuck is that? Are you guys seeing that? That ape? Oh, damn. A moon gorilla. Another one. Alright, so... <laughs> good way to start. Alright, so we, uh, we came here. And we're gonna continue with the story to get our bits. Uh, we're gonna do the side mission called Solution Vital. Let's hope I don't die a billion times trying to achieve this. I think we should be okay. Holy shit. Providing Felix. My homies! Alright, so we have officially rounded up the giveaway. And, um... Yeah, everybody got their game. Everybody was really happy about it. And you know what? That made me happy too. Simply because I like to give uh, something back, and it's uh, it's done now. I also just bought uh, Star Wars Jedi: The Fallen Order, and uh, we sh will be playing that. Um, we probably won't get early access, but um, I did. I, I sent EA an email asking if they would uh, give me early access, but they uh, have not replied. Well, so be it. I can't change anything. So now I'm curious what this space weapon will do. Not much, feels like. Oh shit, I smacked Felix. <laughs> My bad, bro. Wait, who hit me? I was behind a rock. Welcome to the Puppet Master YT, the Outland... Yeah, no, the Outland. The Outer Worlds Dying Compilation. Which is every single episode. Alright, so I feel like we just should just go in balls deeper. Are you guys ready? We're gonna go in full smackety smack upon these motherfuckers. Let's see what we can make happen, shall we? Uh, yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a thought, but maybe we need some, uh, some help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put your sound on full volume, by the way, for that one. Just so your parents know you're watching porn. You didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead again. Okay, so apparently that doesn't work. Maybe I should try something else because going around smacking these cocks won't really make a difference. How about we try this one? The shot A. Oh, wait, maybe they won't attack us if we get close. I mean, Captain Urian is there. No, they're gonna attack me. Alright, so let's take some cover. We gotta figure out how to get... No, not that one. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Come on. I missed twice. Oh, I missed twice. That's why I died. So that's a three-time death so far. <coughs> Zero deaths, I mean. We haven't died yet. This is just an intro, guys. You've been fooled. Yeah, no, that isn't gonna cut it, is it? Well, at least I tried. That one. Let's get that one reloaded as well. Let's try it again. What the fuck? How did they see us? Oh! Alright, just gotta get out of here. Jesus Christ, why do I take so much damage? I don't understand. Fucking hell. There's gotta be some way to do this. Let's get it reloaded. So this fucker saw me earlier. Let's try it from some cover. So as you guys might have noticed, this game is hard as hell. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't realized. Oh, we got him. 
One more. Ooh, titty. This is how we do. It didn't even take me long. Okay, it took me a while, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just takes a while to figure some stuff out. You feel me? Hey, bud. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Of course. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. <sighs> Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. What? I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. Captain R to take it. The one and only. Araj. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? Wanda? No, I don't know any Wanda. She dead. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. <laughs> you tell her these automex are coming. And sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril. Hired stooge? No offense. N uh, well, some taken. None taken. I would let Wanna know her shipment's on the way. You ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive. Any idea who the pirates were after? Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my jelliest regards. I suppose I will. Well, that was a pretty easy side mission, huh? What do you guys think? You guys enjoy that? You guys enjoy me dying lots and lots of times? Well, I can explain why that happened. It's, um, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's because I'm trash. But, but beside that, you know, things happen. Things can happen. Alright, so once uh, we've completed the solution vital, um, we're gonna go ahead and do Weapons of the Void. And that's all gonna be in this episode, so I hope you guys are freaking excited. Well, at least I'll see how far I can get with Weapons of the Void, but, um... But let's make it happen. I see. So honestly, what have you guys been thinking of the game so far? And, um, I'm also asking those who won the game? Uh, how have your experience has been so far? Are you guys enjoying it? Um, i like to know that info, you feel me? So currently, right now, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, turn in this quest and then continue with um, the Weapons of the Void. Um, beside that, I'm uh, already starting to prepare for Star Wars, which is releasing soon. And I hope y'all be ready for that, because it's gonna be Gucci, if you feel me. If you feel me! And it's always so cool when you open these doors. Space Mall! <clears throat> Let's see, how do I get there again? From this door? Through that door? Through... She's smoking in the hospital. Uh, never mind. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Hi, oh, you're welcome. Reputation increased. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right. Pretty decent, huh? One's from the void. So let's go ahead and do that one, which isn't too far away from here, it seems. So we gotta talk to her and convince her to do some some. You had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Well, woman, I don't have my 10,000 bits, so yeah. I'm investing, investigating that distress call from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. I'm still searching uh, about those secrets you were asking me to Would look you turn up. I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it. <laughs> well, that's just. Just so <laughs> I got a bunch That's of good news for you, baby. Um, acquire... I found... I also... For your information, I'm not a complete failure. But I also found a prototype weapon schematic from Force. But I lost that too. little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Yeah, tell me. I acquired some research on Reptodon Musk, but I found another buyer. Shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. 
I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. Oh, guys, I'm so thirsty. This stuff was so Leo's good. If exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. I see. I think that's it. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I maybe. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. Some you more groundbreaker reputation. Okay, um... Let's see what you got for sale. I don't actually know. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. I suppose you do. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. And use negotiate prices when buying. Okay, okay, I'll take it. 480? How do I negotiate then? Because that sounds pretty decent. I got a 5% discount. Well, that's not too bad. I'm not going to spend that amount of money, though, because my um, hand weapon does almost all the work. So, so yeah, there's that. So one thing I don't know is how can you see... Ooh. Ooh. But how can you see what you have equipped? I can't tell for sure, but... It can't be that hard to find, am I right? Don't need that one. Do need that one. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Got that one equipped. Uh, no, I don't. 198. Wow, that's a lot. Might keep that one in the pocket. Don't need that one. Do not need that one. Let's see what we got from armor. Pretty much don't need any of this. Well, we got one of them equipped, I think. The one with the highest stats. So we don't need these. Don't need, don't need those either. Now we got so much of this stuff, yet I don't know what half of it does. Nothing really sells for a lot either, but it... Like, yeah, weapon mods do sell for a lot. It's, it's good to know. Sell general. I think you need stuff like that to, um... Uh, whatchamacallit. You need stuff like that to, uh... Can't think of the word. Um... Let me check again so I know. It's quests. Oh yeah, to pickpocket and unlock doors. Oh, we got skill points. Um... Yeah, once you reach 50, by the way, you're going to have to start putting those points in specifically. So you'll need to level three times and put them in each in order to get it to 60 adapt. So just so you guys know, that's how the skill tree works. It took me a little bit to figure out, but um, once I got it, it worked uh, really well. Let's go ahead and put a point in that one. So this one reaches 30. Uh, two more for this one reaches 40. Um... Let's get some points into melee again. Simply because I like to smack bitches, you feel me? <laughs> Alright, there it is. So we're going to continue with Weapons of the Void. Uh, we can't actually, because Weapons of the Void is the one we need to pay the 10 grand for, apparently. So, um... Let's go ahead and try to do that one, then. It's uh, pretty much the only thing I can think of to do right now before I have to start farming materials. Uh, I need about 400 more bits in order to buy the, um, the 10 grand. So I can continue with the main inside mission. So before we're going to go ahead and do that, let's just go ahead and continue by doing this mission. You feel me? So far, guys, if you are enjoying the episode, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below. And uh, it would really help me a lot. I would really appreciate it so we can boost our algorithm. <laughs> Get mo peeps in, you feel me? Spectrum Vodka. A glass for every class. All right, sweet. Oh, that's a long ways away. Let's not walk all the way. We're not crazy, are we? We need to get to the botanical lab. So I thought it was something about convincing people then to go back to the city-ish. If I remember correctly, because I think... Ooh, that's a nice tree. If I remember correctly... Let's go ahead and talk to them. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Thomas Whoa. Kemp. 
<laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. I seen you wandering around fella? here. You don't look like you're coming from town. No, I come from space. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well armed and don't look stricken with plague. Oh well, yeah, that Sorry, could be it. I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Let me guess. The fact is, I've been well, lying to everybody here. What? Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering, never too late to start learning. I'll give you a couple of pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I see. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Find the engineer? three volumes. Oh, of course. Of if I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Perhaps? Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. Nice. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Well, let's find them all three. I'll let you know if I find it. I expect a fair price for my trouble. You mentioned two pads. What about the third? I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. All if right. Miracle, let's go ahead and collect some pads, set. huh? I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. Wait, what? Uh... What about the third? I, I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. All right. Would you? I'd be grateful. Sweet. You won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Perhaps. Um, I should go. All right, so we got him done. Let's go ahead and talk to her. I don't know what you did <clears throat> Let's go ahead and finish all the dialogue in this episode. And next episode, we're going to get all those three volumes. And um, yeah, we should be able to continue with the main story from there. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. <sighs> Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't know. I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Sweet. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Leave Adelaide behind. You better be sure about this. We go back to Edgewater without Adelaide. She's never coming back. Um, I'll have a word with Adelaide. Sure. Suit yourself. I'll be here. So where is Adelaide anyway? She's in there. Ow. Fire. Hurts. Look at that. The snakes come back. Hey, take it easy, McDevitt. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my Well, I'll kill him for you if that's what you want. My son worked in that camp. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. I see. He had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine wow. would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I see. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Mostly chaos. Don't read if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. 
He and I are not sharing the same four Convince walls the deserters yet. to return. Tell Reed that hmm. I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. That sounds good. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. All right, so be it, Adeludu. Corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Wow. That's disgusting. If I were in a better mood, I might be inclined to try and change your mind. Enough talk. Let's go ahead and talk to Reed, shall we? Alright, so Reed is right meow, in Edgewater. So let's go back to Edgewater and go ahead and talk to Mr. Reed. Mm. Ah, man, I'm taking so many sips this episode. I'm sorry, but I'm thirsty. I am thirsty. How do I, how do I get up there? What kind of bullshit is this? What kind of bullshit is this? Sultuna Cannery. Should be taking the ele elevator up. Oh, oh, I like it when you take an elevator, they automatically appear. Which is better because if uh, they, in some games, they force your NPC to walk to you, but they usually bug. So this is actually pretty good. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I suppose. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back so long as you're here. I delivered your message, but I haven't convinced Adelaide to come back. I wanted to talk to you about something. Go ahead. You seem pretty fixed about and bringing Adelaide back to town. What makes you think I convinced this, sir? Huh? Have you taken a look around your town lately? Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline wow. inedible. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that also sounds disgusting. Begging your pardon. Saltuna is a staple in the diet of any self-respecting spacer. I suppose. Me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. <sighs> But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. This game is filled so with dialogue, by the way. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Hang on. So, what are you coming here exactly? Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic. Mostly. Mostly. Okay. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. I bet they make you feel real good. Possible to detect. Them shrooms. The prissiest of palate. Let me ask you something else. Go ahead. Uh, what makes you think I can convince those deserters in coming back? This may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater. You see, I admit the fault was mine. I'm about huh? as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Um. Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Safety and purpose. But hmm. not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to plague, but it is why we must square our shoulders. Well, Adelaide can fix the plague. You and Adelaide have a personal history? Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked flavor away... Flavor specialist? What, I knew what kind of job is that? I don't understand. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Wow. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. Uh, is there something else to ask, even? Have you taken a look around the town lately? It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place. 
and this is my watch post. I suppose. How long have you worked here? Uh, your town's falling to pieces. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Well, you disagree? Doesn't make it less true. I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. Well, how do I convince him when then to make Adelaide grow her flowers? Town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing Spacer's what we want the world to do. I suppose. How long? Uh, you're loyal to Spacer's Choice? This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. God. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. I see. Loyalty has got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. I don't know about that, but uh, how long have you worked there? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I suppose. I remember looking out this window. And seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. I see. How do I convince him, though? I appreciate though? what you've done for us. Uh, but I haven't convinced LA to come back. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to mm. me by Spacer's choice. A lot more I, dialogue with this guy. I have made my share of mistakes, but I have done my best for this town. Still got to figure out how to do that, though. A change of leadership might be what the town needs. I'm a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer. <laughs> Ah, Jesus Christ. Friend. I think I hit a nerve. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with plague. Evelyn made it clear she won't return unless you leave. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. I don't think it is. This town doesn't need anything but sell to. Now, of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. I do not care if it's appreciated. You're wrong. Saltuna cannery. We eat saltuna here, and only saltuna. You're out of your goddamn mind. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. Well, buddy, it is. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Of course. Adelaide found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step you down. Excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Well, buddy. She's been using human corpses. She's growing her crops with special fertilizer. And when you say special fertilizer, you <laughs> mean I don't really want to exactly. tell him, but corpses mostly human, dead body. Could have been taking them from your cemetery. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. I... S what? What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. I'm not in the mood to argue. You want Adelaide help? Step down. This town needs Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. So, Adelaide wants me gone. Trade my life for the life of the town. You understand what she's doing? Don't make me mad. I'm as good as dead. If I stay, Edgewater will die of attrition. Adelaide has discovered some secret cure for the plague. Yes. And she is holding my town ransom. Well, not necessarily. Do what you want. I'm not the one running the town to the ground. This town could use all the help it can get. I can't make that choice for you, Reed. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down. Really? Then stand down I shall. If Please. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. That's right, Reed. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my... Wow. Head. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see Fucking that. sweet, guys! 
All right, take care. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys, this is where we're going to be ending the episode. It's been a long episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, mostly been dialogue, but uh, I kind of want to keep in the longer episodes uh, in the series for now, for those people who are interested. If you don't like it, let me know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate all the help I can get. And... Uh, well, straight to the point, guys. You guys are awesome, and you guys are what makes it all worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.